Alrighty, so a little bit more of a topical video, but I wanted to talk about the second anniversary for Global um, because I don't know, I just have some kind of thoughts and opinions on it and I kind of wanted to gauge your interest and see what you thought about the whole thing uh, because honestly, it doesn't feel super anniversary to me, but then again, um, the game is in a weird spot where it's not one of the games that has like a JP and global version that are like vastly on different schedules than each other. Like I know like for Dokkan, uh, for Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle or whatever, uh, they are like legitimately like six months behind on the global version and they don't change a single thing from updates. Like it's absolutely the exact same kind of stuff. Uh, for updates, I'm pretty sure, I, I said that very confidently, but I actually could be wrong on that. Um, but yeah, I, um, this game has worked very hard, I guess, to try and catch up to the um, JP and Korean versions of the game uh, on Global. We're currently two weeks behind um, their schedule at the moment. So we get content two weeks later on Global, which I'm okay with. I don't mind that at all. But at the same time, um, you know, they've sort of split festivals up into this weird situation to where they want to do... Um, festivals for both the JP side of JP and Korean side of things and for the global side of things. So, you know, because the, the, the anniversary for global is March 3rd, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, or maybe it's March 4th. I can't remember. It's one of the, it's, it's right at the beginning of March, but either way, um, you know, Global's anniversary is right at the beginning of March. So that was when the game launched and they want to still celebrate that. But at the same time, they also do celebrations for the JP and Korean uh, launch of the game, which I'm pretty sure was in June. Um, so there's only, you know, a couple of months in between those. And I can understand not wanting to maybe release like the most hyped unit you've ever seen for both. Um, but at the same time, like it feels like kind of a shaft in one direction because you're like, oh, well, you know, JP gets like a really cool unit for their anniversary or like a really good unit or a really useful unit. And then not I'm not hating on this DN at all. I actually really enjoy using this DN so far, but she's gonna get phased out pretty quickly i feel like i mean she has her uses and everything but she's not like the super broken op units that people want to see on festivals because you know the festivals are supposed to be a time when you're not you know you're like oh i just you know i've got all these diamonds saved i know that festival units are supposed to be really good or the you know the festival banners have a lot of really good value so this is the time when people want to summon and you know you expect for the second year anniversary to be like a really really cool like really high really good unit and it's deanne and <laughs> not i'm like i said i like this deanne i'm still having a lot of fun with her but then again she's only been out for a week i'm sure after a little while i'll get bored of her or i just won't end up using her as much because she's not all that great um, compared to like some of the other festival units and it might be worth it to just use a different kind of support character on the team instead of her um so yeah that's one big thing is you know she's not really the hypest character they could have chosen but at the same time Deanne doesn't have a festival or she didn't have a festival unit um, for a really long time whereas pretty much every other you know seven deadly sin character uh, has already gotten a festival but you know I mean I, I don't I don't know that this was the perfect time to release her uh, but anyways uh, for the rest of the the anniversary it's okay I feel like you know for it being an anniversary like a really big milestone um, I feel like they should be more generous with like actual festival banner tickets like they only ever give out one multis worth of tickets for festival banners which is really dumb like yeah there is a login event going on right now where you can summon on an extra banner that has like a whole whole bunch of DNs and giant units on it um, which I actually like the concept of that banner and I like the fact that they're giving out free multis and stuff like that and there's some pretty decent value there but it's a lot of the units on that banner are kind of old and outdated if we look at it specifically 
Um, you know, Green Deanne, she was bad on release, pretty much. Like, she was very, very niche. You could use her for, like, a farming unit if you wanted to. Blue Deanne, you literally get her at the beginning of the game. Uh, actually, I don't, I don't know if you get her for free. I'm pretty sure you do, but I might be wrong on that. Either way, if you don't, she's in the coin shop. She's extremely old. She launched with the game. Uh, this Red Deanne, I honestly don't even know what she does. Uh, shatter into... Uh, defense related attacks uh disables attack skills i mean she's really really old as well she might have even been in the game on launch i'm almost positive she was but she, I, I could be wrong on that one um so just really old really like worthless kind of like not really good to have um I, it is kind of nice that it boosts some of these characters up to level 86 star when you pull them but at the same time i mean that's only going to give you like box CC and stuff like that. It's not actually giving you a decent character. Uh, this Green Deanne's okay. Like she's still usable, but I wouldn't really recommend it. And especially now that the new Deanne is out, I would I would use the new Deanne probably over this Deanne probably any day. Uh, Blue Deanne, not great. <laughs> I mean, she's okay, but not great. Probably not really usable in today's t like meta. Um, this seasonal Deanna is kind of nice. Um, also, this seasonal Deanna down here, the Halloween Deanna is kind of nice because they're not necessarily newer. This Halloween Deanna is kind of newer, but just a lot of these units are really bad. Like, I mean, the Ragnarok Deanna is the best unit as far as the Deannes goes that you can pull on this, I would say, by far. Um... But then the rest of it is, you know, you can get Blue Matrona, who's pretty bad. Red Matrona, who's really good, which is actually bringing the value of the banner up quite significantly. Um, and then I would say maybe Blue Droll. It, like, so these three characters right here are the ones that you want to get. The rest of them, for me personally, are just all like coin food. So um, I, I like the lineup for a theme like i'm like oh okay you know there's a lot of dns in the game i'm pretty sure there's like nine dns in the game at this point or somewhere close to that so it's nice to have i guess a way to sort of pull some of those dn units and everything it reminds me of like um there was like a banner that they did on dragon ball legends when i used to play where it had like every single goku unit on it or something similar to that maybe not every single one but it had almost every single goku unit on it um which was kind of cool because some of the goku units Units are still really good and it even put some of the newer ones on there um and that that's giving me the same vibe with this banner and that's kind of cool especially because it's a free banner but at the same time eh, it just doesn't like i would much rather have free multis for the actual festival banner you know making it feel like they're actually giving back to you and everything like that instead of it just being like oh like you know you can get one of the archangels which that's there these aren't bad characters by any means like you know having the grace on these characters is really good if you don't have these characters that's great but they're kind of old at this point you probably have them if you've been playing the game for a while and if you've been playing the game you know since these characters came you know came out I've been on quite a few banners you might have all of these characters completely maxed out who knows so it might not be you know any value at all there for you uh and then the the best part about this banner in general is that you get red you can get a free red matrona at the 600 mark um one other complaint that i have about that banner is that the it's a login event over the course of an entire month and i understand that they want people to play the game like they want play time they want people to have a reason to log in and stuff like that every single day but with it being like a month long it's it just takes forever to get what you want out of it and it just i don't know it just eh, like it's not it's not bad but it's not ideal i don't think uh, next up, we have this Barugia event, and honestly, I have to say this one is better than some of the ones that they've done in the past, but it still feels like the, the same kind of concept that the all of the other like demons that they bring to this game kind of have is like they're just they just have a small little gimmick and you know this one is legitimately like pretty hard. I'll give it to them on that. The difficulty on this one is actually pretty tough, but the thing that makes events like this good is the rewards for one and the, i mean the rewards aren't bad for this like there are some decent rewards i still need to grab the engraving stones out of this but you know they're kind of limited 
um, you you have a five daily count on this for whatever reason the only reason I'm not I don't have this completely done right now is because I've already reached the challenge rewards and I'm I'm contemplating whether it's worth my time to even just to keep messing with this just to get those um, those engraving stones because it's not it's not like a good source of engraving stones 10 engraving stones is enough for one piece of gear which is helpful but i i play you know the training grotto like every chance i get so i am getting a lot more out of that uh i don't know i mean it's just extra stuff so you really can't complain too much but i wish that they would just make some of these battles more interesting more unique maybe I don't know maybe just not doing a demon boss battle or maybe have it have more like cooperative kind of things where it's like you and a partner taking on a bigger boss or even if they brought back some more of those like uh like four player uh game modes i know that some people might not like those because it's kind of hard to get people to join and i can understand that like it, it is kind of annoying sometimes where, it, where it's like oh you know you have four slots you're trying to buy, fight a really big enemy um but normally those are like if you're a really like powered up player normally like you can beat it either alone or with one person uh and if you get extra people it's just kind of like a plus at that point but just having more like cooperative stuff would be really nice for like a, a big event like this you know because it's if this is supposed to be like a, a hype event where people are going to want to play the game then there should be more players on meaning that if you did like a cooperative event where it's you know you invite a friend or multiple friends to fight with you there's you know there should be more play people on the game because it's a hype event kind of thing uh so i don't know just personally not a big fan of this fight i mean the i guess the design's okay i'm not a personal like i'm not personally a big fan of the design of this character but it's it's better than some of the stuff that they released in the past um i can't really complain about much of the rest of this stuff because it's just kind of standard at this point but it just it doesn't feel anniversary very much to me and that's biggest like that's just kind of what the biggest like problem i have with it is uh somebody on the i think it was reddit the other day was like um like is this like normal for an anniversary because like it doesn't feel like an anniversary and like he one of the points that he brought up was that the the valentine's day <clears throat> event they actually bring out like a you know they they redecorate the entire tavern for the festive like festivities of you know valentine's day and everything like that which is honestly like it's a it's a little touch but the little touches kind of go a long way in a scenario like that so if there was like you know like an anniversary tavern or something like that like a little bit more like celebratory or something going on i don't know it, it would just it would kind of help things feel a little bit better but I don't know. I've just been. I'm not. I'm not super disappointed because I know that we're gonna get. You know, probably a much better anniversary sort of festival for the JP anniversary when it comes up in June. But it just feels kind of crappy for the global audience. I think so. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are. I don't want to like keep rambling on this. It's already been a little over uh, where I would have liked to have kept this. But uh, yeah. Anyway, let me know what you think what your comments are anything about the anniversary whether or not you think it's good or bad uh but that's it for me so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one